Sun City Anthem. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. roll. Everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damian Barton, Angela's sidekick. Today we're going to discuss Sun City Anthem. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like and most importantly subscribe to my channel. And if you're thinking about buying a home here in Henderson or anywhere in the Las Vegas Valley, you can always reach out to me at 702 3705112. Let's get started. So recently I had a sale in Sun City Anthem. And as you know, I do a lot of videos on retirement communities across the Las Vegas Valley. I have yet to do one on this community and I thought, well, it's about time mm -hmm. that I do one. I do sell a lot in Sun City Summerlin and I thought, why not do a video on Sun City Anthem? Now, this is named one of the most luxurious age-qualified communities in the United States and is one of the most desirable neighborhoods for elder generations in Henderson, Nevada. This ideal adult community is situated in the hills of the Black Mountains in the 89044 and the 89052 zip codes. Sun City Anthem is the second largest active adult communities in the Las Vegas area that is home to 7,144 households and construction began in 1988 and finally completed in 2008. Most of Sun City Anthem is not gated, but Pinnacle Village is the only gated community. Hmm. So the cool thing is that um, just like Sun City Summerlin, it took about 10 years to complete. This is just slightly newer than Sun City Summerlin. Um, and Sun City Summerlin is the largest active adult community in Nevada, while Sun City Anthem is the second largest. Stay tuned. One of these days, we will be doing a video on Sun City Summerlin versus Sun City Anthem. Ooh, that'll be a fun one. Yes. So let's talk about the amenities. Some of the amenities at Sun City Anthem include three clubhouses, four pools, two of which are actually indoors, one golf course, tennis courts, pickleball courts, and spa centers, as well as clubs and much, much more. Yeah, so the first clubhouse that we adventured to was the Anthem Center, and this is the main clubhouse, and we were impressed. Very. Very impressed. It felt like a mall or something. It felt, uh, it was very, it was like a Saturday, of course. So mm -hmm. it was super busy. Everyone was socializing. The gym was packed. Mm -hmm. right? Energy was really high in there. Yeah, it was nice. It was just, mm -hmm. I couldn't believe, I've never seen a retirement community that active that I did, saw an right. anthem. Mm -hmm. And it was very well maintained, very beautiful. I mean, beautiful it felt like you're walking into a mall. It really did, didn't yeah, it? Because it, it had the, the ceramics area, this area, that mm -hmm. area. Like pool tables and everything was exactly. in stations. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was very cool. Um, so the Anthem Center is a 77,000 square foot clubhouse, and it's the largest of the three recreational centers in Sun City Anthem. This clubhouse has spectacular views of the golf course and Las Vegas Strip. This is also the main clubhouse of the community and features an indoor and outdoor pool. There's a fitness center, there's an indoor walking track, there's ceramics rooms, a computer lab, there's multiple rooms for events and meetings, there's pool tables, there's a gallery that overlooks the city of Las Vegas, and don't forget to check out the Anthem Wellness and Massage Therapy Studios located in the Anthem Center. Yeah, and other amenities that are outside this facility, they have seven bocce ball courts, two horseshoe pits, eight lighted tennis courts, and a practice wall, as well as a children's playground. Anthem Center shares its parking lot with Independence Center, which also serves as a parking areas for the tennis and bocce courts. And Independence Center is a 31,000 square foot clubhouse that features a 300 seat Freedom Hall Theater, fitness and aerobics rooms, wood shop, a billiards hall, an arts and crafts room, several meeting rooms, and is home to a community television station seen on Cox Cable 1960. That's pretty cool. And other amenities include a library, a covered outside courtyard, and group classes. So this is actually right across the street in the same parking lot, as I mentioned, as the Anthem Center. Um, 
so just like Sun City Summerlin, they have that uh, Star Bright Theater. Mm -hmm. They also have a theater here, which is pretty cool, I think. And the last community center is the Liberty Center. And this is the newest clubhouse in Sun City Anthem. With 22,000 square feet, it houses indoor and outdoor warm water pools, an exercise room, a yoga dance studio, and several meeting and multi-purpose rooms. Other amenities include eight lighted pickleball courts, three lighted paddle tennis courts, four lighted tennis courts, and eight bocce courts. So as you can see, they have tons of amenities and each of those clubhouses were full. Um, obviously it could have been because it was Saturday. I don't know how it is during the week, but they, like Damien said, it had high energy. Everyone was very friendly and active mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And you know, I noticed that the age range, it wasn't just a bunch of older people. Yeah. Um, we saw some people like in their fifties and sixties. So we ha we saw all different types of age ranges. And a lot of people worry when they um, buy into an established retirement community that everyone's gonna be older, but mm -hmm. that wasn't the case in this community. There's also the Revere Golf Course, mm -hmm. which actually is its own entity and has no affiliation to Sun City Anthem HOA. So the HOA is $138 a month. There is an additional HOA fee if you do have a townhome or a duplex and attached house. Unfortunately, I think it just depends on the location. I don't know what that HOA fee is, but $138 is very reasonable considering all the amenities that you get in this community, mm -hmm. right? We went over a lot of them just yeah. now, so yes, yeah. you get all that. It's a very nice community and it worthy of, of your attention if Henderson is something that you're interested in. Exactly. I think it's something to consider if you're looking for a beautiful retirement community. Now, granted, a lot of people are looking for the newer retirement communities. I personally like the older homes in the neighborhoods because the yards tend to be a little bigger. Just they're not as Yeah, they're not as close together. And it is a little more established with the beautiful greenery trees. Okay? Very mature. Yeah, very mature. So... Pretty much 1998 to 2008 is not that old, mm -hmm. in my opinion. My house was built in 1991, and I'm very happy with it, and I will never leave my location. <laughs> a lot of people get so um, spoiled with the new construction oh, that Las yeah. Vegas has. But I think it's definitely a retirement community you should consider, right? I do. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, it's very main well maintained. It's beautiful there. Yeah, and if you're thinking about relocating to Sun City Anthem, you can always reach out to me at 702 370 5112. Awesome. Anyway, most importantly, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you on our next video.